Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cece, and if you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So in today's video, I'm going to share four things I've made, and you can also grab these SVG files on my blog and use it with your own cutting machine. So let's get started. So right here, I'm just using a placemat that I found at the Dollar Tree, which I will be using a white HTV for this. I'm just going to prepare my blue cutting mat place the HTV shiny side down, smooth it out, then take it to the machine to be cut. And once it's done cutting, I'm just going to use my light pad for this because I struggle seeing the cut lines with white vinyls when I am weeding. And if you don't have this, I've also seen other crafters use this baby powder or even baking powder to help them see those cut lines. I'm just going to continue weeding the vinyl and once I'm done, I will start to cut these images in pieces. Now I'm just going to lay these out and put them where I want them to be. And I have to keep in mind that my Cricut Easy Press is not as wide as this placemat, so I will have to press the images section by section. I am using the Cricut HTV and I have the temperature at 315 and will press for 30 seconds. So once you're done pressing, just let it cool down since this HTV is a cold peel. Then gently remove the carrier. I'm just going to continue pressing the HTV onto my mat and I'm going to fast forward the video so we can get to the next step. And right here, I am placing a parchment paper on top of the HTV, just so I can protect the other images that no longer has a carrier. Next, here's a stocking that I also found at the Dollar Tree, and I will be using a Cricut HTV for this project, and it's the same process as the placemat. I will also have these images on my blog if you guys want to go ahead and grab it for free, and I will link my blog under the description box if you want to go ahead and check it out. So I'm just brushing the fur upwards with my fingers. I'm just trying to get it out of the way so that when I press with my Cricut Easy Press, I don't end up melting it. I'm just going to press the next image while the other image is cooling down. And as you can see, I have done the other stockings and now that they have cooled down, I'm just going to remove their carriers. Okay, moving on to the third project, I have this mason jar and I'm just measuring to see how much fabric I should cut to go around the jar as well as how wide the fabric should be. Now I'm just laying out a parchment paper to protect my table because I'm going to paint the mason jar with white chalk paint. Let the first coat dry. And I'm only doing two coats on mine, but if you feel the need for the third coat, please feel free to do so. 
while the paint is drying i'm just going to fold my fabric to make sure that the width on this is about three inches it doesn't have to be exact but i'm going to press my image onto the center of the fabric again i am using a cricut htv and the temperature is at 315 and we'll press for 30 seconds Now just place the fabric at the center of the jar and I'm going to use a hot glue to keep this fabric and the mason jar together. Just be careful with the hot glue when pressing the fabric onto the jar. Now I'm just going to add a twine and go around the neck a few times and then make a simple knot. You can also use a ribbon of your choice. You can add some flowers if you like. It is completely up to you. Now look how beautiful this is. So for the last project, I'm doing the Santa bags for my kids and I purchased these online, which I will link it under the description box and most of the things I use on this video. Always measure your blank so you know how big your image you want to cut. Again, I am using a Cricut HTV and the temperature I have on my Cricut Easy Press will be at 315 and press for 30 seconds. I'm going to press the other bags and don't forget that this HTV is a cold peel. Once it's cooled down, go ahead and remove the carriers. And that's it. Alright guys, I really don't know which one I like the most, but let me know which one is yours. Leave me a comment or give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you find this video helpful. You guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys!